welcome back to another weekend in my life vlog i apologize that i'm vlogging on my phone i honestly wasn't planning on starting the vlog until tonight but we're out um i recently decided that i want a love sack in my living room because if you guys saw the recent vlog long story short i still need to replace the chair there and i just think a chocolate brown love sack will really do the trick so there's actually a new love sack store that is open on Ox Henderson. I want to go there and then I'm going to get some work done at Starbucks. I was trying to wear a tribal this morning, which is my favorite coffee shop ever. I just dropped off Amanda. We spent the morning there. It's just the best place ever, but it's like in Bishop Arts and that's like out of the way for me. So I don't really go that often. I think I'll go a lot more in the fall. Anyways, I'm going to work at the Starbucks. Subscribe if you guys haven't already. I've had a really hard week and suddenly I'm in a good mood and I think it's because I've been listening to Breadwinner by Casey Musgraves. I swear to God, if I could write a song that would have been the song. That's the song. That is the song. All right, we're out. Guys, my new shoes. Are they not the best things you've ever seen in your whole life? Guys, Love Sack stores, they're back. I saw them in New York as well. This is new in Knox Henderson. I haven't seen a Love Sack store since the one at Stonebriar Mall years ago. Like this, this is what I need obviously that's like way too big growing up everyone had these in their media rooms i need this but in that material potentially smaller clearly i have showered gotten ready worked my house is so clean right now every friday night i do a girl center so we have that tonight and i have this pr for presley which i'm about to give her whoa i have this pr for presley which i'm about to give her forever ago Haley, one of my friends, doesn't have a skincare routine. Like, she doesn't even take her makeup off at night. So we're getting that taken care of. I'm giving her a 20s world cleansing balm. This is the best cleansing balm in the entire world. I'll link it below. It's Emily June's line. And I'm giving her an exfoliator and a moisturizer. And then I'm gonna give her these that are like really nice things. I don't think that she's gonna end up using them, but like, we'll just see. Imagine me with a friend who doesn't have a skincare routine, guys. It's just like not happening. I'm so sorry. Dinner is in for like two hours, but I'm honestly really hungry. And I was hoping someone was gonna wanna do a happy hour. Looks like my friends are over me right now, so. Guys, I'm on Instagram Live with Dom, and Dom's telling us this sob story of her and the monkey bars just because I said something else. And she's so insecure. Dom, you don't need to be insecure. Everyone falls off the monkey bars. But like, it was like, have you ever had a wood chip lodged into your thighs? No. No, that doesn't sound fun. Happened. Hi, vlog. Here's my, here's what's happening. So these jeans are Princess Polly. I have these sandal flip flops and this very light sweater. I would change my purse, I'm just too lazy. Here is the final look. We're gonna go to Highland Park Village. We're just going to Honor Bar. I really wanted to go to Mark Monkey Bar before, but um, none of my friends wanted to join me. So here I am. I think Taryn and I are actually going a little bit early. But yeah, I like how I did my hair tonight. Something different. Anyways, we go to dinner every Friday night and it's mainly at like Honor Bar R&D. And we're going to Honor Bar tonight and they have my favorite margaritas. Well, R&D, I guess. I feel like they're tied, they're the same thing. Honor Bar and R&D have the best margs, so I'm very excited. Get your weekend marg to start off the weekend. Coco's going crazy. Okay, I'm gonna go now. Goodbye. I'm on my way to dinner. I have never been so excited for guac and a margarita in my entire life. Like. It also isn't that hot right now, and I'm feeling over the moon. You know what? Another thing I want to address here. Let's talk. I know that I live in Texas and that it isn't, like, cold. First off, this sweater, by the way, is thin. But second, like, if I am wearing a sweat set and it's 80 degrees, or if I'm wearing a sweater, like, look the other way. Let me live. I am happy when it is cold outside. I am tricking myself into thinking it's cold outside. I'm essentially gaslighting myself, but I just need to think it's cold because that is when I'm happy and that is what makes me happy. So if you guys see me dressed as though it is 50 degrees, look, turn the other cheek, okay? Let me live. That's what I need in order to be happy. If not, I'm just not gonna be happy. And I am putting my happiness at, um, what am I, for? I, I don't know at a high premium also have you guys been to Ficini yeah I still haven't gone everyone and their mother like besides me is gone maybe I'll make the girls make a reservation while we're at dinner because I really want to go and I saw they have weekday happy hour and that is right up my alley and it looks really cute this is truly my favorite place and like it's almost like we're getting close to Christmas everyone. not to like jump the gun but I'm so excited for fall as we've 
and as we've established for a plethora of reasons but like social events in the fall are just so much better especially if you're like outside like you're not like drinking isn't as crazy and you're out by like the fire with a sweater with like a beer like oh my god that just sounds amazing <laughs> I'm back home from dinner in my matching pajama set. I have to leave my house at 8 a.m. to go to my niece's soccer game. A very big deal to me. What a transition from hot girl, wild girl summer to wholesome girl fall. Um, we're really trying to kind of change things up a little bit. So I'm not going to be out at the bars until who knows when, you know? We're growing up, people. We're maturing. We're growing up. We're really, you know. We're doing that. Um, so anyways, I'm gonna read a book. I think I'm actually going to read Sally Rooney's new book. Oh my gosh, wow, whoa. My Kindle got updated. It looks so different. Oh my God. Okay, so Sally Rooney, Beautiful World, Where Are You? She's the author of Normal People. I think I'm actually gonna read that. Um, I also started this book whole again. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe I read 30% of that last night. I did not think I read that much. Um, really good. I'm kind of been in like a nonfiction self-help kind of kick recently. But yeah, I'm gonna try to get into like a fiction book this weekend. I wanna finish this one. Oh my gosh, guys. <sighs> Happy Saturday, guys. I'm getting ready. I'm actually heading to my hometown, which is honestly like a 30 minute drive on a weekend. It's 8.15 and we're actually going, you know what? I redid my braids this morning. I didn't think it through that like, there's no way without washing my hair I'd be able to do a different hairstyle once I braided like this. So we're just gonna stick with it today. I'm gonna use the Bare Minerals Original Liquid Mineral Foundation. This is really light. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I've been applying this with my fingers, which I never ever do. I'm wearing the set active like jumpsuit and I got it in a size medium. It feels like a little bit too big. I'm normally a medium in their stuff. So I would maybe size down. I want to try different sizes, but like I plan on living in this stuff in blazers and like sneakers and my Birkenstocks. <laughs> Have I shown you guys my new shoes yet? They were actually surprisingly a big hit on Instagram. Look at them. I mean, okay. Aren't they just so beautiful? I saw them last week. And I have never ordered something online so quickly in my life. Like, it was just immediate purchase. That's it. Okay, so I'm going to try to apply this with a brush, but whatever. I'm literally just going to a soccer game, so it's a wreck what I thought. I mean, obviously, so he's a pro. Anyway, so I'm going to that, and then Cinemark actually gave us a private theater to go see Queen Pens today, which is, like, my family's favorite thing to do. We went to the movies last weekend. Like, we, that's, if we, if we leave our houses to hang out and do something, nine times out of ten, we are at a movie theater. It's like always what we do for some reason. I just remember this being a lot lighter. I want this to be like barely any makeup. I'm just gonna do powders, I think, today. I don't even think we've talked about Casey Musgraves' new album yet. Oh my god, first off, so many of you guys were asking my thoughts and opinions and <laughs> honored. Oh, I'm gonna try a new, I, not eyeliner. I can't talk, it's not even that early. Under eye concealer. Casey Musgraves' new album is something that has taken my world by storm, specifically the song Breadwinner. I've said this before and I'll say it again. If that song had come out a year ago, it would have been game over for everyone. Like, I would have actually lost my mind, I think. So I think the timing is good. Um, I honestly really like it. I listened to the other songs, but I feel like I haven't given it enough time. I need to leave, like, very soon. Good Wife is sad. Um, okay, hookup scene, sad. Obviously, all of us are sad, but I mean, like, aw. Um, keep looking up. What doesn't kill me. There's light, or there is a light. Simple times. I really like it, but honestly, like, with the love that I have for the song Breadwinner, it doesn't matter. Like, I could hate every other song and be like, this album is perfect, it's incredible, it's great. Anything that that song touches... I really meant to wear a lot less makeup. For some reason, I thought that foundation was, like, really light. It definitely isn't thick, but I thought it was going to be, like, a... Like a Wonder Glow Charlotte Tilbury kind of vibe, you know? I've also been back on hot coffee recently with my nut pods, the pumpkin cream, or the pumpkin ones, because it's giving me fall energy, which is clearly what I need. The last thing, which is the worst thing. Have any of you guys gotten like eyelash perms and stuff? Like, do you think those are worth it? 
All right, so this is my outfit. This is the Set Active, like, long bodysuit. I want them in every single color. Like, I would just wear these all the time in the fall. Oh, my God. Imagine this. A long coat, some like cool socks and sneakers, which is actually my fall look. My hair is not falling the way I want, it's still too curly. Anyways, it's very comfortable that I'm bringing a hoodie for the movie theater. This bag, isn't it so cute? It's from Geneva, which is the app with our group chat on it. It's like an all-in-one app, it has everything on it. So if you guys aren't on the app in our group chat, you definitely should be. We're like talking in there all the time. It's really, really cool. But I'm using the tote um, because this is a bunch of PR stuff that I'm giving my sister because I just have too much stuff right now. And we are off. I need to finish my coffee. Here we are. Um, we're at breakfast. Do you want to say something? Hi, guys. You have such a camera voice. No. It's like when you're on the carpet. Kim Kardashian this week was um, on Instagram story and North, her daughter, like made fun of her Instagram voice. That's what I feel like is happening right now. Yeah, that's what's happening. We're at um, the original Pancake House, right? Yep. Yeah. yeah. Looks good. All right, guys, we just got to the movie theater. We're at Cinemark. Love that. The family and I like always go to the movies. We literally went to the movies on Monday. So we're back and Cinemark is giving us a private theater to watch Queen Pens, which I'm really excited for. You guys, my review of the movie. I'm now a film critic. Look at me go. Thank you to Cinemark for sponsoring today's vlog. <laughs> Private theater. I'm gonna sit by yourself, don't worry. You have yeah. to, I have your popcorn. Are you excited? Yeah. <gasps> Say, um, go watch Queen Pens. Um, go watch Queen Pens. Queen Pens at Cinemark? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Are you so excited for the movie? Yes. What snack did you get? If you missed out on um, the action, don't sweat. We should um, find each other. Oh, yeah. The snack though, you got candy and popcorn. Yeah. Did you get a drink? Yes. <gasps> Yay! Yeah. Okay. I got a strawberry Fanta. Oh, that's exciting. Okay, so we're gonna watch a movie. We're at Cinema. We'll give you a review after. Right, guys? Right, so? Yes. Yeah, okay. Here's our, oh, I have this. Here's our little setup. So? Oh, you look so cute! We just finished the movie. It was so cute and doing that is so fun. Like I do it with my family all the time. It'd be a really fun thing to do with your friends as well. So thank you Cinemark so much. Go see Queen Pens. I'll have a link below to where you guys can see um, where it's playing at a theater near you. I'm heading back to Dallas. we really tired honestly. Like I can't believe how tired I am. I think today is going to be a very chill Saturday. This is a very like kind of chill weekend at home. Guys, I just got a very exciting package. So it's from Madelux Vault. They sent me this like Machino bag. It's so cute. I love the bear. It reminds me of Ralph Lauren and these pillows that we had when I was younger, but I just think it's so cute. A little gold chain, really fun. And then also these Balenciaga sunglasses, which are really cute. And then these Gucci ones, which I know that you don't wear the case, but I think that the case and the glasses look so cute together. They're just so fun. So I will link them below. Um, I don't know if I have a code, um, check my Instagram because if I do I will have posted there but it gives you like, basically it's designer discounted so kind of like the real real or things like that. Honestly I found insane deals on here though. So guys, I got these way candles, sorry it's a bit later but look at how beautiful, they gave me a gray one as well. Here's the other one, I mean they are just oh, so beautiful. I live for this thing. I have some pizza. The greatest thing just happened to me. I'm so tired. Honestly, on a weekend at home, especially in Dallas, I rally and I'm like, go, go, go 24 seven. Next weekend is actually a really big weekend and I'm just tired. Long story short, my plans got canceled. And that is truly like the best feeling when you just want to stay home. This week is actually going to be a pretty busy week. I'm actually really excited and next week it's going to be big. It's so weird that like, I used to just be such a homebody and I, I mean obviously we were in COVID but, but it's weird now because if I'm not like doing something 24 seven, I feel, I don't know if it's FOMO or if it's just like guilt. I'm like, oh my God, I need to go do something, whatever. And like, I honestly just don't. But I also just like honestly really always want to be out with my friends. The next few weeks and weekends are going to be so crazy, especially when Jess moves here. Next week is a big weekend. And then she literally moves here the week after that. So actually, 
yeah, this is probably my last Saturday night at home alone. So yeah, I don't know. I like feel guilty like staying home and like weird, even though I used to do it all the time. Reheating Zalot pizza. You know, you know. Like what is it, sriracha? Sriracha and ranch. I'm a like Cholula girl, but I love this. By the way, I love nut pods. Oh my God. Oh my, oh my God. I wanted to buy my rooftop and I guess it rained. <sighs> Happy Sunday guys. I just made my coffee and I was actually going to go read on my rooftop I haven't used my rooftop since spring like we really didn't use it all summer Which I feel so guilty about but I'm going to use it like every day in the fall um, And I went out for the first time in like two months and I just sent a snapchat to my friends of uh, what it looks like It's looks better. I've already known I've needed to like redo all of that for a long time um that will be a, a project that i do soon but it needs to be power washed there's just a bunch of stuff so that fire pit has to be like done for which sucks because like i need a fire pit up there so i'm gonna have to figure that out that is like number one on my home list right now anyways it's 9 a.m it's sunday morning i'm going to drink my coffee read a little bit shower and then i'm taking the pups to get some baths and I'm gonna go grocery shopping, so. I just got in the shower and I wanted to try this on in this vlog because I guess it could be, okay, if it's, no. Because this is like an Amazon dupe for the jumpsuit. So whatever it is about like a jumpsuit or like a sporty suit from Set Active, I need to size down. I would normally get just a size medium. I normally in like leggings and things, I get a medium, but I got a medium in this and you probably can't tell, but it just feels, like there's way too much space around. This is from Amazon. Like the quality is like honestly nowhere near. Like I bought it a few weeks ago. I haven't even tried it on because I was just kind of honestly like really unimpressed. Now that I'm wearing it, I don't hate it. Like I'm going to wear it under this like this. So it doesn't really matter. Very Cameron Diaz style. It was like 20 bucks. Um, if you want to try it, I think this is like too long one. Like I don't want it all the way to my knees. Yeah, I don't know. I wouldn't really recommend it. I will link it below just in case maybe you want to try I'll keep buying from other brands, but I would definitely recommend maybe not getting this one. Like, I already bought it, so I'm going to try to, like, get something out of it, but um, I'm not, like, impressed, really. Vince, are you going to go get a bath? Are you going to be so handsome? So handsome, yes. Oh, a big stretch. Good boy. So, okay, he smells so bad. We are going to get you a bath, like, as soon as possible. Love you. And again, guys, Coco is just out of the frame. I really feel like Cameron Diaz right now, but I'm actually about to go grocery shop for the week, which I am so excited because we're back to fall recipes. I do not like cooking in like spring, mainly summer. Like I feel like all you can really make is like fish in a salad, but fall is perfect because it's like the soups and the pastas and like, oh my God, I'm so excited. So I'm actually going to be filming uh, like what I eat in a day video with a bunch of just like recipes and things that I'm making. So you guys will see that. This is like the grocery haul portion of that and then that video will be up really soon. There's just something so therapeutic about going to Trader Joe's and putting on a podcast and just going through your grocery list. Like why does this make me happy? Trader Joe's haul time. I got some flowers. Again, because I think I'm a florist. Um, but I did need to redo the flowers over there. Two bags. The total for this trip was $90, which is like a little bit much. Lots of kale for salads and a recipe. Celery, beets, carrots, garlic, parmesan, feta, um, almond milk, hot flour gnocchi. Then I got, oh, turkey meatballs. And then I got kale gnocchi. I like having this stuff around just like a frozen meal because I have been door dashing way too much, which I will have my DoorDash link below if you guys want to use it. Um, and you get credit, so you can get like basically a free meal delivered to you, depending on what it is. I am better off eating frozen meals than I am ordering from DoorDash, like financially and maybe health-wise. Dom actually recommended these to me on our Instagram Live on Friday, so I'm really excited to try that. It's definitely interesting. Sweet potatoes for the harvest salad. Again, I'm gonna do a what I eat in a day video, and then I also put all of those recipes on my Instagram as a real onion. I needed some new vanilla extract, whipping cream. I'm so excited to be cooking, guys. Like, you have literally no idea. Um, glaze, because I was out of it, and this is what I love to put on avocado toast, which I love having for breakfast and as a snack and things. Bananas, cheese tortellini, Brussels sprouts for my salad. Thyme, I'm actually probably gonna meal prep the salad. That'll be in the what I eat in a day video. Have some almond butter. Okay, vegetable broth. It was supposed to be low sodium. 
and I didn't see an option for that at Trader Joe's. I actually really want to start going to the farmer's market on Saturday mornings, especially in the fall. Um, I got a bone broth there one time that I just loved. Like, I was really into bone broth for a second there. And I need to like bring that back into my routine. Tomato paste, avocado, another sweet potato. Oh my God, do you guys remember when I used to make, um, comment below if you were here for this part of my life, the buffalo stuffed chicken sweet potatoes. I actually should do that as a reel soon because I used to make it all the time. I got Pinot Grigio for a recipe. I'm gonna put this stuff away um, and continue listening to a podcast. I'm already two podcasts in today. It's only 11 a.m. <laughs> noon i'm about to pick up the dogs sit on my laundry groceries are put away house is clean this way candle by the way smells incredible guys look at how good the dogs look she looks stunning fitz looks so handsome he just likes to sit here like that always i don't know why coffee number two of the day i'm so tired very much needed guys imagine if i had a chocolate brown love sack in that corner and that's where I was reading. I could do like my morning meditations and journaling in there every morning. I mean, it's gonna be really incredible. All right, well, that didn't really last long because I just spilled coffee all over my favorite sweater in the entire world. So getting to work, I mean, it's like all over the top. This is just not good. So I'm gonna get this out. Um, <laughs> drinking coffee because we saw what happened to my last coffee and it's got a lot of cooking done i made that new soup which will be in the what i eat in a day video that's coming up and i'm planning out my week um i normally just kind of do this on the go but i wanted to take like 30 minutes to really figure out like exactly what i want to shoot this week i just started working with my assistant like last week so i try not to work on sundays at all but i'm like in an editing mood and if i'm in an editing mood I'm just going to do it because sometimes there's like nothing I'd rather do less than edit. when we do the toast and that's when I'm required to have energy. By the time I get home, it's like work from bed the rest of the day. 